I'm Becky, and that's Nathan. So there's no Barnaby up here. Um, that's actually, um, Nathan found that in an old book of English fables and phrases, because um, he reads such things, which is cool. <laughs> and um, he came across this name, Barnaby Bright, and it actually uh, means the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And uh, in England, they would have this big festival on the longest day of the year to, to honor St. Barnabas, and they'd have food and drinking, and, and everything went with the, with the church calendar. And, so anyway, there was a little limerick that went, Barnaby Bright, Barnaby Bright, the longest day, the shortest night. And um, we kind of thought that was cool. I mean, any band that has their own day, I mean, that's, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> so think of us on June 21st and go to our website and buy a CD. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I liked the metaphor of it, like the, the day and the night, the dark and the light. Um, the metaphor of that, like there's a little bit of that in all of us, and especially in our music, you know, Nathan's the dark songwriter, and then I'm, I guess, the typical girl, I write happy love songs. And um, anyway, but we decided not to use it, because we thought it might be confusing, but then Nathan, later that night, had a very uh, prophetic dream, which he will tell you about. This is true, I'm not making this up for you guys. We reject the name, go to sleep that night, and all of a sudden, Bob Marley is floating over my bed. <laughs> Thick cloud of suspicious smoke. Uh, it was billowing forth from his eyes and his ears, and it was like a really angry Bob Marley. And he looked at me like he was really pissed off, and he said, Nathan, Barnaby Bright, that's a good name, man! I have a feeling the accent was a little more Jamaican. Yeah. Less, yeah. less Irish sounding. Okay. Well, uh, so we thought that was a pretty clear sign, you know, if you're like me and you try to follow the signpost that life gives you. That was a pretty clear one. Our record label wanted us to, to change our name when they signed us, but we told them that story and they were like, okay, you can keep it. <laughs> um, what we're going to do uh, uh, to demonstrate what I was saying earlier, a love song that I wrote. Um, I'm sure sometimes you guys feel this way, I know I do. Um, the amazement that someone can love you so unconditionally, whether that be a, a family member or a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife, um, but that unconditional love kind of despite the many flaws that we all have, and sometimes in spite of them or, or because of them even. Um, so anyway, this song is kind of about that. It's called Just the Same. Yes, my bleeding heart and all that hurts and 
now, which means they gave this to us, which, for broke musicians, that's like winning the lottery. <laughs> it literally costs like 12 times um, the amount that our own ukulele costs, so we're very grateful to have this. So check out Nalu Ukuleles and um, go to their website and tell them you saw us playing it and they should give us more free stuff. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> 